In this video I will show you how to work with the uh, diagrams on uh, UFF Norway's website. And by diagram I, I mean these cake diagrams. How do you make them and how do you put them into an article? <clears throat> the diagrams are found on a component plot a lot. This will show up a list with the available um, diagrams. One for the overview of uh, all the nations and uh, one for each of the countries for 2012. If I go into an article content, article manager, I will sort by Beestens Arbeit, so I only get the relevant articles. And in <clears throat> this case, I will go into uh, Guinea Bissau as an example. The article is like we have talked about before, uh, filled up with different uh, plugins. This plugin here is a plugin for Plotalot where it calls ID 13. So, what is this? I go back to the component and I can see that each of the diagrams has an ID, and Guinea Bissau is ID 13. So basically, this plugin calls this diagram to come in here. And you can see there's a table around it. It's, it's not really needed. Um, it makes it a little bit more complicated, actually. So you're welcome to not put it in a table, but just put it in, in, in clear text. So this ID calls this diagram, <clears throat> and it looks like this. So how do we change it? Um, well, I think the best thing to do is to not delete the old one, but just make a, a copy. So if you mark 13, then you have a copy button. And it will straight away open the copy here. Um, of course, I will remove copy off. I will say Guinea-Bissau 2013. And I will call the diagram 2013 as well and here are two things to there are two settings that you need to check and adjust this is the colors of the different diagrams and this are the settings for each of the colors I put up a notepad here uh, these are all the settings and colors like you have red, blue, orange, purple, and yellow. The red is education, and in this case, 34%. Blue is country development, rural development is 10%. Environment, 14, 8, 34, and microfinancing projects, 8%. And this is the form that is all put in. The first line will be select, the other will be, will be Union select and uh, it's not important to know as long as the first one looks like this all the other ones should look like that so uh, in this case you can go in and you can change the percentage for the three colors that you have here um, <clears throat> and you can save it I'll actually say save and close, shake it out. So now I find it here and you can see the ID has changed. Now it's 25, it's not 13. So I'll go back to my article and I change the ID to, did I say 35? 25. I change it to 25 and I save it. Of course you have to correct the text around it. Um, like up here you will have some numbers and years you just basically just change the text of this um, with a, a link to the website so uh, their website of course so if I look at this site now I do a refresh I will see that now the numbers has changed. 
So this brings me to the second question. Uh, I'm currently working on Guinea-Bissau. What if they have introduced support for a new sector? At the moment, you only have education, environment, and uh, health with AIDS and HIV. What if they introduced, for example, uh, microfinancing? All you have to do is to take the color code for yellow, which is microfinancing. You copy it and you paste it in here. Now you have the yellow. Then you need to describe the yellow. And as it is last on the list, it also has to be last on the list here. So here you can change the text. Be very careful you don't delete the small uh, uh, symbols and stuff because that's what keeps it all in place. For example like that and I put this down to 20% and I put this up 10 so it needs to give 100 all in all. So red is the first, green is the second, orange is the third, yellow is the fourth. Now everything has been uh, corrected, uh, I can save it and I uh, refresh the front page. Mm, didn't show up. Let me see if I've done something here. There's missing something. Aha, uh -huh. you see? It's the small details. There was a little comma there I had uh, managed to delete. So I save that again. And now it shows correctly with all the different colors. So you see, if you have any problems, it's always because you have forgot uh, something or written something wrong in. So this is basically chart 25 for Guinea-Bissau already sorted. At the moment, says this is a live site, and this is just an example. I will put it back again to uh, 13. So now it's back to the original. And I will delete the diagram that I just made there. And now we're back to square one. So this is how you basically do it. Don't You could also reuse the existing ones. Uh, but in case you make an error or something, then you have nothing to go back to. So uh, instead of just changing the original one, um, and also to, to keep the history on the backside of the website if needed in the future, uh, just do a pure copy, edit the copy, then go into the correct article and just change the ID. Yeah. That's how you work with Plotalot and uh, Cake Diagrams. Uh, if you have any question, you just contact us via our support system.